You've gotta love all these seemingly but hurt little kids jumping on a bandwagon they know absolutely nothing about because they want a certain BL3 creator to like their tweets and show them a little attention. Yeah people this happens loads and a few days back on Twitter I walked to an event for bombardage of messages about a certain few other YouTubers big and small subtweeting about me. Today we get to the bottom of this. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. Also before we go any further, for all your gaming needs, no matter the platform you play on, at amazing prices and incredible weekly deals, check out G2A, linked within the video description. So this all started ages and ages back, not long after Borderlands 3 was released. I was messaged about someone tweeting about me and my Borderlands 3 videos, having 4 minute intros before any info was given out on my behalf within said videos. Now I thought when I saw this I'd messed up on a video and like I did in the past I added a few minutes of black screen. So I went through the 5 or 6 videos I had posted at this time which I will say had amazing views for someone who never covered the game in the past, but within the videos I found absolutely nothing. So I jumped back on Twitter and instead of calling out this person who is big in the community, and I will state his name was Killer6, I let it slip. I mean I wouldn't normally do this, if you guys follow me from my destiny days, you know what I'm like. But I just decided to block him from that point and move on with my life as what he was saying at this time wasn't true and I just thought it was a case of him not being happy with me jumping from Destiny 2 to Borderlands, kind of pissing up his fence so to speak. So instead of calling him out, I decided to be the bigger man and just block said person. I have respect for this amazing community, while well, 95% of you, I just ended it right there on the spot. I wanted nothing to do with it and I didn't want to get into any internet wars, not my style to be honest, face to face any day of the week, internet wars, no thanks. So skipping to a few days back after months and months of peace, I woke again to messages from supporters telling me the same dude is saying more things about me. He said that I was the king of bait, which to be honest I found hilarious and actually retweeted it, which I regret now because he did receive a lot of hate from my supporters. Now he called me the king of bait for reasons I will state later and I've since spoken to Killer6 which I'll talk about later too. Now clickbait is absolutely everywhere on YouTube, search anything on YouTube and top videos no doubt are clear clickbait, well for the most part they are anyway. The thing is YouTube is like a river now, creators are like fishermen with those lines in the water. On those lines are those hooks and that's what we try to do, we try and hook views in with fancy tackle, i.e. thumbnails. Now I will admit I spend more time on my thumbnails than some of these haters do on entire videos and I try my best to make them look pretty and stand out and yes I use arrows and will continue to use arrows. So me being a creator I make fancy thumbnails and try and hook viewers in. This nowadays is considered clickbait by some. Although I never lied in any title of my video, I haven't drawn you in with false promises and believe it or not I've never faked a giveaway. All my BR3 game giveaways were mostly called supplied to me by Gearbox. People outside of the UK I will personally send them money to buy the game. Every winner of everything I've ever given away you are free to contact via my discord if you do not believe it. So yeah, making fancy thumbnails, thumbnails that stand out even if thumbnails cover what's mentioned in the video is considered by some as clickbait. Now getting to the bottom of this after a few logical exchanges it was because I used said arrows. Now I don't use sexy hot chicks or irrelevant to the point titles, just arrows. Yes, crazy. So in this case guys, okay I clickbait, I use arrows, I will admit it, if arrows are clickbait then I clickbait, but I don't think I'm anywhere near as bad as certain people make out, and they make out like I'm cheating people out of money somehow, and this is what the entire argument was about for the most part. So I walked to a barrage of tweets about me, a bunch of sheep jumping on a bandwagon of someone who doesn't like how I present my videos, i.e. arrows in my thumbnails. I mean ignore them then, if you find a YouTuber who you don't like, just ignore them, don't watch them, just completely blank them out your life. It is as simple as that. Don't go to Twitter and attack them. So this King of Bait tweet by Killer6 initiated from another tweet 
and it was about a thumbnail of a video I posted a few days back titled New event cancelled until further notice. The thumbnail was this one you can see on screen now. It said cancelled in big letters. I mean, I wanted it to stand out. But people got the impression that I meant that the event had been cancelled and was never coming. That was not what I was trying to portray when writing cancelled in big letters. But reading it back, I can see why some people got a little pissy about it. And this is what this whole thing started over. So you know what I did without replying to absolutely anybody? I changed the thumbnail and just tried to leave it at that. Being the bigger person, not wanting any pointless drama, I changed that thumbnail. I then had smaller creators jump all over me like a rash, all trying to get that little exposure. And then when I didn't retaliate like they expected, and then made them look completely stupid with basic logic, they blocked me because I wasn't retaliating in a way that makes me look bad, so people feel sympathetic towards them, gaining them a little traction. You see people, I know how to handle these kinds of guys as I've been doing YouTube for years now, over 10 years. So you can imagine the amount of people like this I have come across. To be honest, when I covered Destiny 2, which is a way more hostile community, I used to get hate literally every day. And those were great times, but I've got wiser with age. So after Killer6 called me the king of bait, which I didn't have a problem with really, this smaller creator, the one that blocked me, made a video trying to take the mick out of me and a couple of videos I posted based on legit legendary farms which had racked up millions of views. Him thinking it would blow up and he would get the support of the mass community? He was mistaken. The video I will add was quite funny though and it does a great impression of me. Little does he know I actually clicked that like button too. But at the end of the day, things like this for the most part in the opinions of many just make you look desperate for attention and in the long run ain't a good luck. I mean yes we all know the event was postponed, content is a little low, but making videos like this ain't the way to go. You know how I know this? It's because when I was a smaller creator I thought the same way. Let's hate and that bigger YouTuber, hopefully I will get a lot of attention for it and it will help push my channel. Those days are long gone. It just makes you now look even more of a tit than you did after blocking said person for making you look stupid with primary school logic. I mean it got to a point of him going back through my videos, picking the lowest viewed ones and trying to make a point with them. That's how hard he was trying, I mean he even at one time tried to bring my sponsors into it. I mean I know G2A ain't got the best background, but the info that came out about what they did in the past I found out after I'd signed that dotted line, so there wasn't much I can do about it. I mean this, at the end of the day, does not upset me, it doesn't affect me, and it does not and won't stop my way in going forward with YouTube. Now Killer6 I have spoke to on Discord, and we've sorted it out man to man, and we have no problem with each other, we are cool, and in fact he's actually a very very cool dude. If this smaller creator, who he knows who he is, wouldn't have attacked me the way he did, I would have happily sorted issues out in private, I would have done everything in my power to resolve problems he had with me. But he blocked me, kept tweeting about me and just continued trying to gain attention jumping on a bandwagon of hate which started because I used one word in a thumbnail of a video which I then changed when I realised people had a problem with it. But he kept going on, trying to pick out other things, to a point of him making a video about me which like I said I actually enjoyed, but don't tell him that. But hey it is what it is, and if you think I'm being harsh with any of my comments here people, I'd show you some of the shocking things he said about me and quickly deleted. But hey, I don't want to take this any further, I'd like to just end it right now. A few shoutouts though I do want to do are to Yohimba, the £400 silverback gorilla who streams on Twitch, Birdman778, another Twitch streamer and I'm just Links. Links to what they do within that video description. Now I'm shouting these dudes out because out of the 10 or so people involved, these are the dudes who were speaking with logic, not taking sides or digs which I appreciate, my kind of people to be honest. Also shout out to Killer6 who isn't as bad as I first thought, now our differences are settled. Getting to know him actually is a very cool cat indeed, and if you don't know who he is which I'll be surprised about, you'll find a link to his channel within that video description too, one of the OG Borderlands players and creators. So yeah guys, for those who are wondering, as I walked to quite a few messages on my discord, comments on my videos etc etc, I thought I'd just tell you guys what happened. Now I don't condone hate, I don't want you to go over to any channel and spread hate, to me this was all just mostly banter, and if we can be the big people and leave it at that, that would be absolutely cool. Now for me making this video there's been no news whatsoever on the Guardian takedown and the patch that comes with it, but I would expect it to come this week sometime. 
but I don't want to get nobody's hopes up and confirm that. So we will see if any news drops on it, I will have you covered right here on my channel. And on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. Also, if you want to support me directly and become a member, click that join button. It really does help out. But again, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.